Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingvid. Do you wish you could learn English really quickly? Well, you can. Why? Because in this lesson, I'm going to teach you 10 common expressions in English, which are really short and easy to learn. Now, technically, these are phrasal verbs, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that they are actually used as complete sentences or commands in English. Okay? So even though they are all only two words each, they're actually a complete sentence, a complete thought and a command. Okay? Let's have a look and get started. Okay. So the first one is cheer up. What does it mean to cheer up? To cheer up means to be happy. So if you see someone and they're a little bit sad and they're feeling depressed, then you say to them, hey, cheer up, be happy. Okay? To be cheerful means to be happy. So just say, cheer up. Next one. Wait up. When do we use that? Now you probably know the word wait, but why do we say wait up? Well, again, it's an expression and you say it when, let's say uh, somebody is walking ahead of you and you recognize a friend of yours and she's walking a little bit ahead of you and you're trying to get her attention. You say, hey, wait up. Okay, that means wait for me. So, cheer up means be happy. Wait up means wait for me. I'm coming. Next, hurry up. Okay, so when do we say hurry up? We say hurry up when we're trying to tell someone to do whatever they're doing a little bit faster. It could be something mental, like a test, like, hey, hurry up. Uh, you only have 10 minutes to finish the test. Or uh, it could be something physical, like, hurry up, we're going to be late uh, for the bus or for the movie. Get dressed fast, move quickly. This is when we say, hurry up, move quickly. Or do whatever you're doing quickly. Next one, listen up. Now, you know the word listen, so why do we say listen up? Again, it's an expression. And we use it when we're usually talking maybe to a group of people and we're trying to get their attention and we're trying to tell them to listen carefully, okay? So we say, okay, everyone, listen up. This is what we're going to do, okay? So listen up means listen carefully. There we go. Next, calm down, okay? Or calm down. So what does calm down mean? To be calm means to be peaceful. So calm down, we say, when someone is upset, angry, or um, really not in a good mood, really kind of upset about something, not happy about something. We say, relax, take it easy, calm down, okay? Now, usually uh, when we say that, the person is not going to find it very easy to calm down, but nevertheless, we tell them, take it easy, calm down, okay? Next one, slow down, okay? So why do we say slow down? We say slow down when we want someone to do something more slowly. For example, maybe something happened and somebody's very excited and they're speaking really, really fast and you don't want to tell them, no, stop, I can't understand what you're saying. So, hey, slow down. Tell me quietly what you mean. Okay? Take it easy. But it really, we're not just saying take it easy. We're saying speak more slowly or usually speaking, but sometimes maybe walking also. Okay? Like if somebody's walking with you and, and you can't even keep up with them and they're going so fast, they say, hey, slow down. I can't catch my breath. Okay? So it could be also for something like that. So do whatever you're doing a little more slowly. Okay. Next one. Go on. Go on. So this is like, it means continue. So if someone's talking and they got, they got you all excited and then they stop and like, hey, what happened then? Go on. I want to know, tell me. So go on just means continue. Next one is hold on. Okay, now you might hear this when you call um, uh, customer service or something like that, and they might use a slightly different, more polite version, hopefully, and they might say, please hold on, okay? But in regular life, hold on just means wait, okay? Please wait. So hold on, uh, I'll be with you in a minute, or hold on. I'm tying my shoelaces, okay? Something like that. So hold on just means wait. Let's do a quick review. Listen up means listen, 
carefully. Slow down, go slowly, uh, speak slowly, walk slowly, whatever. Go on means continue. Let's go on. This one means get out. This we usually say it's not very nice, we're not happy with somebody, and we tell them get out means leave, go out of this room, okay? Get out or get out of here, all right? So get out just means leave. It is not a happy expression. It is an angry expression, okay? And the last one we have here is watch out. So watch out means not watch out like that, keep watching, but means be careful. So if somebody's about to step into, I don't know, a, a big hole and you're walking down the street and they don't see because they're talking to you and they're about to fall, you say, hey, watch out, be careful. It means be careful, okay? So watch out for that expression because it means be careful. All right, let's do a quick review to make sure you remembered. So if somebody's um, kind of late for the bus and you want to tell them, move quickly, move quickly, what can you say? You can say, hurry up. If uh, you want to tell somebody, please wait, what can you say? Hold on. Good. If somebody is really sad and you want them to be happier, what can you say to them? Cheer up. Okay. If you want to tell someone to be careful because there's ice and they might slip and fall, watch out. There's ice on the, on the uh, street. Okay. And let's say somebody is telling you a story and then they stop and you want them to continue. What can you say? Go on. Next one. Somebody's walking too fast and you can't keep up with them. And you say, slow down. But if somebody's walking way ahead and you're trying to call out to them, hey, wait up, wait for me. We can walk together, okay? So you see that these short expressions are really handy because they're a complete thought, they're a complete idea in just two words. And that's an easy way to learn English more quickly, okay? Now, you can do two things if you want to really learn these well. Go to our website at www.ingvid.com because there you can do a quiz on this and review these, make sure you know these. And second, you'll also find there a resource on these that give you the meaning plus many others like this, many other two-word phrasal verbs, which we use as complete sentences. So I've made a kind of a list for you that you can refer to, okay? So that's it for now. Good luck with your English. Bye for now.